What's going on? This is Max. Thank you for joining me on this initial impressions video. Sean from Wheel Slip, a shop down here in Santa Cruz, was kind enough to let me rip around on his GT today. I wanted to share some of my initial impressions with you guys. Does it stack up to a fully decked out XR? Let's find out. First, let me give you a breakdown about the specs of, of this Ford. Fully decked out, um, to me, is gonna be basically the best uh, of what the third party market has right now to offer for the XR. What I'm rocking here is a W um, board, W rails, bang bumpers, got a lift kit down here that lifts it by half an inch so you get more nose clearance. Cush wide on the back. Got craft and ride grip tape on the front and back. Tilt kit on in the controller. CBXR battery. I believe that's it. So I'm gonna put a breakdown on the screen of approximately how much um, this board is worth. I guess retail and also used the depreciated value compared to the uh, the price of the GT, which I believe is 2250 plus tax. You're around like 2450, 2500 ish. They're actually both about the same, even with the tilt kit, which is I think priceless. Uh, fair to say it in today's market. Disclaimer: I honestly am seeking the best riding experience possible. Feedback comes from just progression wanting progression, wanting a, a better ride. So it's nothing against or for any company. Which is the better option? Let's find out. Let's start with some good news, okay? <laughs> it rides super stable at higher speeds. I felt I could really push, ride on, at pushback, and I felt like a rock. Never really felt the nose dipping. In fact, I was trying to make it nose dive and it was difficult. The torque is definitely there. When I first did a nose drag on the street, the tire of the GT actually spun out a little bit. And that's something I never really felt with the XR. It, it chirped while I was doing the nose drag. And I think it depends on the setting. My homie had it on Apex or something, but uh, I definitely felt the additional kick from the motor. Wow. Very, very refreshing feeling, if you will, on nose drags. You definitely climb up to speeds faster and you do feel more stable. So I really enjoyed that. The bumpers are slicker than I thought. Better than stock. And you can already see there's some wear here. But yeah, these are pretty darn slick. I honestly quite enjoyed them. Let me bring this up to the camera. So, the shape of the bumpers is also pretty cool because when you are nose diving, or sorry, nose dragging, deliberately nose dragging, there is a section of wear that is distinguishable, you can see, and it's focused on this section not too much on the tips. Actually, not at all, it's not even touching. Now, as time goes by and you are into nose dragging or just wearing it down, it will be interesting to see how the wear starts affecting the curve up here. I imagine it would start digging closer to the top. That's another positive of the GT that I liked. Climbing uphill is another great benefit of the GT. At Ganja, which is the previous uh, race course in Santa Cruz, uh, that wheel slip chose. At the very end, if you guys remember, there's this pretty steep section uh, climbing up to the rest spot. It would not dip the nose. Here we go. Ooh. Oh yeah. 
that was nice. Constantly beeping. Constantly. But so much torque there. Yeah, yeah uphill climb. The power is there. It didn't even dip. I was trying to make a dip actually, but uh, it stayed, st stayed steady. It just kept chugging up, which for the XR, there'd be a few moments where it would dip here and there, but I could still make it up with an XR. For sure noticeable that with this guy, um, the, the motor would beep every few seconds, but it would not dip. So that was also very refreshing. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that's all the pros that I have. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. One thing I didn't really enjoy, clearance. 